and it sways me to think Every knock on the door, every step on the floor is a drum Like ba da ba bum A rhythm rising with the now Till suddenly somehow There's a symphony scoring The voices all soaring A melody roaring to life The song in my ear that no one can hear No matter how I try to explain There's nothing to gain It's all in my brain The melody will only play for me My young symphony Till someday I find a person Whose mind is rocking, swaying Playing in my key Yeah, I don't expect to connect with the crowd at school I'm not a guy who could try to be cool Never really in sync with the people who think it's fine To act better than everyone To one wedding Not quite fitting in But maybe someday they'll begin To hear a symphony scoring The voices a soaring, a melody woven into life. So loud and so clear, the song in my ear that no one can hear. No matter how I try to explain, there's nothing to gain. It's all in my brain. The melody will only play for me. My own symphony to one day I find a person. The news of mine is rocking, swaying, playing in my key. Whoa. I've really been trying to avoid playing I am the very model of a modern major general in a minor key, but y'all keep asking for it, so here we go. Interpolation in pop music, let's talk about it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you're doing so well today. Noodle and I are here with another reading. Here's a brand new song from a retelling of Wicked, but told from the perspective of the little girl who kills Nessa. Utopia needs to be a movie. Let's get into it. Hello? Hey, did you see the Utopia TikTok? I was literally okay. just what? Wouldn't Utopia make such a cool musical? Mm, no. I don't know. Th think about it. A coming-of-age story in a dystopian world where our heroine goes on a wild adventure in pursuit of the truth and then finds love along the way. I mean, come on! It's Broadway gold. I mean, I guess, yeah. In Utopia, there's a call to action Where fantasy collides with the fatal attraction The world's divided into factions The revolution's gaining traction And the love in this book is a fiery affair it's an intricate, infinite internet connect to what millions connect to. Well, you should just try and please try it with me. I don't know. I'm really busy with this extra credit stuff for math, and 
You're the Utopia super fan. Why don't you just do it? Because we always talk about writing together. Plus, you're better with music. I'm better with lyrics. I don't know. Like, think of the possibilities. Like, oh my God, like Kaya's song when she finds out that everyone she trusts has been lying and, and Brathian isn't the only surviving place on earth because there's actually a whole world outside of their domed city. Mm. We could call it Beyond the Dome. Ooh. Right? Beyond the Dome. Do, 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 sorry. Okay, check your texts. I just sent you like a bunch of lyric ideas. Huh. Um, uh, <sighs> hmm. Mm. Oh, I see it, I see it. Uh, a fleeting shadow in the distance. A shift in shape just out of sight. Come on. <laughs> That's already so much better than the melody I came up with. Come on, do it for me. For you. Mm, I'll think about it. Yes. Okay, so you're going to finish the first book, right? Uh, it's fine. I already got the gist. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye your life. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the dome. Hmm. Beyond the dome. No, please don't. Beyond the dome. That's not a good key either. Beyond the dome. <laughs> a fleeting shadow in the distance. <laughs> that sucks. Jazzy? Yeah. A fleeting shadow in the distance. <laughs> a shifting shape just out of sight. a tree and this is sounding really awful just really really bad but maybe if I change the key honey honey can you please keep it down your father and I are trying to watch you for ya yeah sorry A single figure hides behind a tree Something faint but getting closer Somewhere out there that's alive A blurry creature beckoning to me Within the dome We hide away from the wastelands Unexplored, this is my home and they cannot go ignored I've learned the elder's lessons And never once defied But why do I feel a pull to the other side?
to the other side. This is crazy. There's an oath that I swore. I don't know what happens outside the door. But this is it. My time is now. I know I'll find my way somehow. I'll trust my heart and break my mind. Beyond. What are you doing? Go look at your TikTok right now. Oh my God. Two million views. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Doja Cat stitched your video. Apparently she's like a huge Utopia fan. I, I knew this was a good idea. Okay, stay right there. I'll be at your house in a sec. Oh, hi, Paige. Paige. Good morning. Great morning. Marvelous morning. It's got both of you so excited. Landon hasn't told you? Huh. Uh, I, I, I made a TikTok and it's like, is that going viral? Or... Can you believe it? <laughs> Your son, the TikTok celebrity. Uh, go little rock star. Isn't that a <laughs> uh, utopia song? It, it's, it's the first thing on my feed this morning. Mom, you promised you wouldn't follow me. I don't. Whoa. <laughs> So we should make more oh, of these uh, yes. Okay, I'm thinking we do yeah. a villain song for the yeah, chancer next. Oh my god, what if we did like a love duet when Kai and Jarek escaped the gold? Yeah. It passed 2.5 million. The TikTok, it passed 2.5 million views. Oh my god, Landon! What is going what? on? Oh, oh my god, god. Landon, look! Brittany Broski used my sound? Yeah. And Lizzo just duetted you. What? Oh, can I get a selfie? Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yo, how'd you come up with this? Um, it was you're honestly Paige. You're like so talented. <laughs> oh, uh, thank, I mostly just do the music, so. Uh, I never knew you wrote music like that. I am such a sucker for musicians. Oh, really? Are you gonna write more Utopia stuff? <laughs> uh, uh, of course we are. Of course we are, yeah. yeah. More where this came from, totally. like a villain song, or maybe a duet for uh, Kaya and... Share it. <laughs> that would be really good. Yo, how does it feel to be like a celebrity? Uh, this is crazy. I'm pretty sure we hit three million views. This feels amazing. It's honestly a total dream come true. Who knew? Whoa, did you see all these interview requests in your comments? I've departed. I'll skyrocket into my new career. I'm getting started on something that I've wanted now for years. It's almost here. I'll be writing even better, a trendsetter at the helm. Just notes upon a paper for a show I'll write myself a living dream. I just can't comprehend four million people now have heard of me. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, hi, it's Landon. Oh, wow, I could do a 4 p.m. interview. Sorry, I'm already guessing on a live at 7. Uh, how about 8? Uh, I could be available, depending on your appearance fee. Sorry, that's a question for my publicist. Uh, since when do you have a publicist? Fifth period. I'm ecstatic. Calls from different outlets and reporters writing that my work is magic. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. The biggest trending story of the day. I'm on my way. People now come up to me and ask about my page. Asking if producers might adapt it for the stage. I guess we'll see. I just can't comprehend. Five million people now have heard of me. Oh, I believe that I could ride what Broadway sings. What's gonna call? When will they ring? No less. 
I'll do my best. And pretty soon the Broadway higher ups will gladly write me giant freaking checks. Oh, 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 oh. I know it ain't, I know it ain't landing. And you know it's your boy. <laughs> I saw you in the news this morning. I love that line about wastelands unexplored. Uh, How did you come up with that? Uh, uh, honestly, Stop. that was paid. You was gone for too long. We got a VIP here. Show him a little respect. Um, Landon, you were saying? <laughs> it just came to me, uh, I guess. Landon? Oh, hey. What if you, <laughs> can we talk? Um, Everybody wants a piece of you today, huh? My <laughs> <laughs> You know it. Okay. Landon, please. Uh, sorry, I have to top on this interview, just but we'll talk soon. One second. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, see, it all started with my mom and my dad, and they fell in love, and they had me. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine Landon. seeing Landon going viral overnight? Where did you go? that 11 million people heard of me.
This is Marsha Marks. I, I'm a producer. You may have heard my of my work on um, from Broadway. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Hi. Oh, well, we just pulled some strings with Utopia's publishers, and we got the go-ahead for a one-time performance of Utopia the Musical. And if you're up to it, we'd love for you to write it. Wow, uh, I, I, I'd be honored. Oh, excellent. Um, I'm already in touch with the theater, but oh, oh, the timing isn't quite right. Um, their only opening is six months out, and aside from a cancellation next month, uh, it's just really not enough time. No, I, I, I can do next month. Well, I can't ask you to do that. It's only four weeks away. I write fast. I wrote this song in, like, a night, so... Well, if you're sure. Oh, absolutely. I, I wouldn't want to miss the moment. Oh, well, um, I'll be talking to you later. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs> Come on, brain. Think of things. Come on, brain. Be so smart. Keys to keyboard. Write the first line. How hard could it? Be. Just start it with the simple C chord Then redesign the scene Cause all you have to do is sing it Syncopate the rhythm till you find that feeling Everybody's gonna lose their minds When hearing the things up here in your head And you bet that you're gonna be The one, the one the people need Look, there's my destiny Anything. Yeah, quiet. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Mom. I just, um, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> Pin the paper. This should be fun. If you want the whole world to love you, you'll have to make it even greater than the first one. That's no pressure. Marcia's calling. Hello? Landon, how's the writing going? Really great. I'll have some stuff to sing you super soon. Oh, well, how about we uh, put some other songwriters from TikTok? I mean, there's some really talented creators posting Utopia songs since Beyond the Dome took off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know if those are quite my taste. Um, oh. I have a really specific vision for this show. Okay, well, if you say so, <laughs> ta-ta. <laughs> All you have to do is write it. Just a simple melody or two. Don't fight it. Don't. Look at the clock or think about the finish line. You still got time, you still will be. The one, the one the people need. The one who sets the speed. No rest, no peace, can't stop to breathe. The one and only me. The page is on the landline for you. Thanks. Oh, are we going to pick up? Or? Oh, okay, I'll give her a call back. This is the third time. <sighs> Am I better than everyone? <laughs> Landed all that you sent over, but it doesn't quite align with, with uh, how the books are going. Uh, are you doing some different story interpretation? Yeah, I was, that was on purpose. I'm just uh, making my own thing. Oh, uh, well, um... Uh, 
I'm sure that the viewers will be expecting a more faithful adaptation. Right. I will not stop for second guess. I must go on, I must impress. Cause I was meant to be the one and only. Just keep on pushing on until the battle's won. Cause you are meant to be the one and only. sunshine Give some drool right, right there yep thank you and and what do i have i feel like you know i have plenty of time now that my best friend up and ditched me i'm sorry for blowing you off mm -hmm. uh taking credit for your idea mm-hmm and stealing you of an opportunity you wanted even more than I did. Mmm, ding, ding, ding. Okay, but Paige, this honestly sucks a lot for me too. Well. Your own actions. Harsh, but yes. Look, Bestie, you might have girl bossed a little too close to the sun this time, but... I don't know, I feel like you still have time to turn it around. No, I, I don't. I've tried, Paige. I cannot do this all on myself. Oh uh, my god, no one said you have to do it by yourself, weirdo. Let me guess, you haven't finished the first Utopia book? How did you know? Because all of Kaya's problems are solved the second she stops trying to save Ambrisian all by herself and takes the help of other people. Have you even seen the other Utopia TikToks? I haven't had time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Look. <laughs> This one is my favorite. There's General Bochuk's reversal. Oh, and look, someone did an open verse challenge as the chancellor. And here's a legit Broadway set designer who made a scale model of the dome. This is insane. D I know. So use them. Work with these creators and then live stream it on TikTok because, you know, that's where it all started. <laughs> no, see, this is why you should be doing this instead of me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, or we could do it <gasps> together. You would still work with me? Duh. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls practice forgiveness. <laughs> Plus, this friendship comes with one free pass for crummy behavior. Hmm. So, ready to assemble this crack team? For you, um, absolutely. We're running late on creating a brand new show. But I bet we can get in the flow. If we work as a team with the people who dream in tune, we'll be ready to open soon. Creating generating more than I could have made before. Composers are scoring the set pieces soaring. To love the one, the one that people need. They really need, and now it's easy not to be the one and only. And when you told me a succeed, I'll roll it to the team. Because they each turned out to be the one and only me. Putting on a musical together, and everybody's playing their part. 
The clock is ticking till we open up the curtains It's time to start Thanks to the one The one and only me The one and only me The one and only me Okay, people, one minute to curtain. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Landon, how are you feeling? More nervous than I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> you? Okay, so uh, this probably wouldn't be the best time to mention that Marty Hinkle is in the audience. Yay! Marty Hinkle? Yeah. CEO of Valor Productions, Marty Hinkle. Mm -hmm. Career maker of aspiring songwriters everywhere, Marty Hinkle. Or the guy who owns Hinkle Dry Cleaning, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that one, it's that one. I'm gonna puke. Well, aim away from the shoes. <sighs> Relax. You got this, okay? Ready? Ready. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I am beyond grateful to welcome you to Utopia, the TikTok musical. A lot of people work their butts off to make this production possible. Our brilliant cast and crew, the composers whose work you'll be hearing tonight, and the talented, talented creators on TikTok who lent their time and their talents to this production. Thank you so much. But most of all, um, the reason we're journeying into Embratheon at all tonight, my best friend. This is for you, Paige. Break the leg, cast of Utopia! We're here to say break a leg from, from the, the Witches of Oz. Break a leg, Landon, from Madame Morble here in Munchkinland. Hi, Landon. It's Hannah Florence from Wicked on Broadway. I just wanted to wish you a very happy show. Break legs. Go get them. Peace. A mega city was built as an experiment to see if humans could create a self-sustaining metropolis. A dome was erected about the city, completely isolating it from human civilization. We call it Embratheon. After the grand cataclysm devastated the lands beyond our dome, Embratheans set out to recognizance mission to see who survived. But we found no one. We're all that's left. We're all that's left here in the dome. So we do our best and we call it home. We play our part for a brand new start and break the end. Watcher, giver, advocate, thinker. Each role contributes to our city, but your role as watcher is crucial to our safety. The world is a dangerous place, Kaya. You must never open the gates. than I had planned, but you would have been burdened with the truth eventually. What? What do you mean? It's a burden that every chancellor must bear. I trust that you will follow the Embrathian conduct, won't you, Kaya? Sworn to 
secrecy, truths are enemy. A century of secrets can't afford conspiracy. Sworn to secrecy, Kaya promised me, and Raytheon will thrive. That I guarantee. seems to be napping. <laughs> Relax. Do you like what we wrote? Yes. <laughs> and are you happy with the performance? Yes. Okay, well then there's that. Look, the audience will like it or they won't. What really matters is we created something we're proud of with like really cool people. <laughs> Plus, maybe the real treasure Don't do it. is the people Don't you met along, along the way. way. I hate you. You love me. Actually, kind of sounds like we're a hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, that was so, oh my so, 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 god, that was amazing! Uh, I want the cast album. <laughs> Alan Silver, Creative Endeavors United. Do you have representation? Oh, who wrote the villain song? That's my favorite part. <laughs> oh yeah, can I get a selfie? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Landon. Hi, I'm uh, Marty. Mr. Hinkle. It is so nice to meet you. <laughs> um, I, I have a few projects coming down the pipeline that might be just right for you. How about uh, we set up a meeting for Monday? Hmm? Absolutely. Great. I'll be in touch. What? Oh Jeez! my god! <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. I'm obsessed. Yeah. 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 Hey. 
Oh, God. Mom! Dad! Uh, what, what, uh, what, what did you think? Well, we knew you were talented, I but mean, this... Uh, <laughs> I know, I don't think that we realized how incredible you are. <laughs> oh. uh, so the math, I'm sorry, the music scholarship... <laughs> yeah, is still an option <laughs> we can talk about. Yeah, assuming you keep those math grades up. Mm -hmm. You don't know how happy I am to hear you <laughs> say that. Well, where's Paige? Uh... Hey. Hey. Um, maybe we should... Excuse me. <laughs> Are you Landon? Uh, uh, that's me. <laughs> oh, my God, you're Janice Palmer. <gasps> she wrote the books. Well, I just wanted to tell you how much I love this show. I have been following the TikToks since the beginning. It is incredible to see fan art that isn't just about Jarek leaving Kai uh, for, you know, Lieutenant Bochuk. <laughs> Well, Jar Chuck is my OTP, but I, I totally get it. Uh, thank you. That means so much. Um, the TikTok community really came together. Oh, oh it, it's just the attention of detail that you brought to this project, Lantin. I, it's as if you uh, know this world better than the one that I created. Oh, uh, oh you know, there's a, a video game in the works. And if you're up to it, you, to up to beta testing or consulting on it, we would love to have you. Oh, my. Wow, mm -hmm. uh, th thank you. Um, <laughs> that sounds so... Actually, mm -hmm. I think you should meet my friend, Paige. Well, how do you do, Paige? Hi, <laughs> hi, how are you? How about have a little cup of tea, you and two in it? I don't even like tea that much. <laughs> Waited on the sidelines, delaying every goal. Imagining my moment was out of my control. But with the spark of inspiration and the work to see it through, maybe there's no limit on what we can do. No more wasting every day. Wishing things would go our way. Letting Moments disappear. We can fly when we stop standing by, waiting to search the sky for a sign. Look out there, moments are everywhere, ready for stars that dare to align. And make the moment shine Make the moment shine yeah. I don't have all the answers On the future that I chose The road ahead is winding And I don't know where it goes But now I see tomorrow Can be left to only face was waiting for, I had to create. No more watching from the stands. Take the future in our hands, and your moment will appear. We can fly when we stop standing by, waiting to search the Yeah. 
sunshine. Amazing, you guys. <laughs> Comments are going crazy. Have a seat. Uh, wow, that was really great. How do you guys feel? I uh, don't have any words. Right like now. we just did a musical. <laughs> yes, good. That's a good feeling. We have Roman Bra Banks. We have Sri Ramesh. We have, of course, Daniel Mertzloff. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. <laughs> Mertzloff, I got hey, it right. No, you got it right. Um, so everybody, uh, if you have questions, uh, just throw them into the comment section, and we'll get to them. You were in High School Musical, the series, right? Yes, yes. How does this compare to, uh, to that? And you were on stage in Dear Evan Hansen, Yes, right? yes, yeah. as well. Um, it, it has a strange little, like, I guess, um, I don't even know what to call it, but it shares similarities to High School Musical because it's all about kids in theater, but we're also making a TV show. Right, and right. And so, right. like, this has, like... A nice little bridge between that, um, and it feels familiar, but it also feels like such its own thing, which is credits to the writer and the <laughs> director. Writers, 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 writers. writers. So, many writers. Writers. so many writers. You have a few pages oh, as well. So many yes. pages. <laughs> yes. Um, we're getting a lot of questions wanting to know if this is live. This is live, guys. It's 8 o'clock in New York City, and here yes. we are uh, on the Upper West Side. Um, <laughs> we're getting questions. How many cameras were on stage? So there are three cameras. There's one right here, uh, who right. Are, are good friends who are on stage the whole time. We have one right in the center, and then we have one right over here. But because of our amazing camera crew and directors and all of that, hopefully it feels like we're, it's, we're in an arena full of 70. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be nice. uh, okay, so the comments are saying the music slaps. How did you come up with it? Well, I was not the only person who wrote songs. Okay. I, uh, I, along with Kate Leonard, who uh, I also wrote the book with, um, we wrote uh, three of the songs together, and then the others were from some old friends from TikTok, some brand new people that I got to meet, and then uh, they, I got to work with them to do arrangements, create all these amazing things, orchestrations by Macy Schmidt, who, like, that band, the Broadway Symphony, is so Love good. Me. So good. How did, uh, um, will there be a soundtrack, people want to know? That is a great question. <laughs> okay. That's a great question. That's a great question. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, Shri, you're a star on TikTok. How does this compare to everything that you do that you've done already on TikTok? I mean, this is just so different because one, it's live with TikTok. I get as many takes as I so please. <laughs> yes. Um, with this, that is not the case. No, this was live, live, live. You guys <laughs> it did it live. once through. By the way, no audience. No. You know, no applause egging you on. You guys just went. Yeah. But yeah. sorry. I interrupted you. <laughs> well, I guess that's one similarity is when I'm filming my TikTok, there's no audience. It's just me being proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> How did you two get cast? Uh, I was helping my girlfriend move in, and I got an email, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? And uh, I actually, like, literally found out the entire cast when we did the TikTok live announcement. Yeah. Actually, and I, I was... knew before. <laughs> yeah, you did that research. <laughs> I, I, like, texted Sammy, and I was like, please tell me who's playing Landon. I have to know who's playing Landon. <laughs> yeah, I was very jealous that she knew before. I, I did. Know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. um, I have to assume, was this at all based on what you went through on TikTok with Radish? and everything you've done? You know, yes and no in terms of, one, I hope I handled it better than Landon did. Um, <laughs> my friends, I hope I did, and I love all of you if I did not. Um, but it, it's not just my story. There's so many creators that have gone through a similar story that, of course, there, there's those little elements in there uh, that I pulled from my own story. But, yeah. no, it's more of like there's been so many different voices that have been found on TikTok, and it's just such an amazing a, a community where, it, you know, if, if you put it out there, it doesn't matter if you have four followers. If people like your content, it's going to get viewed. That's why it's such an incredible entertainment platform. People uh, in the chat are very impressed by your quick costume changes. <laughs> no. we, uh, we sh had shout none. out to I the, I mean, we, have, we have 
have two people on costumes, and yes. shout out to them because they oh are doing all of that. And I have to say, people, and this is what you do, so you know how to do it, but when people were rejoining, no one was out of breath. I mean, you you couldn't tell a thing. I mean, it was very <laughs> Backstage, impressive. Backstage, we were like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. I was like, oh, God, I, I did this wrong, and I, I, oh, I need to fix this. How many total people are in the cast, by the way? Uh, it, I believe it's 12. Uh, 12 or 13. 12 or 13. 12 or 13. 12 or 13 and then we have our way couple cameos. many more characters. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your cameo was great. <laughs> Thank oh, you so candy. much. I loved it. Um, it's a very deep, wicked joke, but if you if you get it, you get it. <laughs> right. um, yeah, you know, uh, and and there were so many characters, and and there's there's precedent for that in a lot of shows. But normally we ha- they have you know weeks and right. like you know all of that. But yeah, shout out to everyone who was. Playing I have to seven ask, roles. what is each of your favorite musical? Uh, mine is Hamilton. Okay. <laughs> What's yours? In the Heights, hands down. Okay. okay. So good. I, that's a good one. I, I always have to say Rent, because that was like, see, I remember <gasps> hearing Seasons Love for the first time and being like, this. This is it. Yeah. I was at opening night. Oh, no come way. Yes, okay. I absolutely was. Wow. I'm old. Um, <laughs> but yes. that's, I, no, but I was at that's opening a story. night. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were playing Rent at the Starbucks I was at this morning, and I was so happy. Wow. I was like, that's insane. Oh. Like, love that, but. Yeah. Sure. How did you how did the cast prepare for the role because I have to assume this was pretty fast. Yeah. It was very fast. <laughs> yeah. Um I think it just came as we went. Like I I wouldn't even say like for me speaking personally, I didn't really the preparing was because we were doing so much like we were moving at such a rapid pace like every time we would do something I would find something else and I'd be like let's keep that. Let's keep that. Let's throw that out. Let's keep right. that. Let's keep that. Well, Shri, yeah. how long have you been singing? Since I was four, so 17 years. What was the first thing you did on TikTok that caught on for you? I did a cover of All I Want by Olivia Rodrigo from High School Musical, the series. So this is very full circle. (laughs) No, that is. Um, And uh, she ended up reposting it on my 19th birthday. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, and that kind of just did it for me. So thanks, Olivia. I love you so much. Yes, and now, Olivia, now she's just a little more successful. A little me. bit. Just a little. Um, how long did it take you to write this? I know. Um, I knew you started in January. Yeah, we, we really started in January, where we had like, okay, we sort of know what the idea is, and then I worked with Kate Leonard, who uh, co-wrote the book with me, gave out the assignments to songwriters around then, um, and then started really uh, about the last like month and a half, started doing the full arrangements, the orchestrations, all of that, and part of that was in what we're doing in Project Broadway, which is the, o- the umbrella over this, you know, is sort of peeling back the curtain. So there were lives where, like, I, I was on one with Blake Rouse, who wrote A Million People, which is he, he sings when it's blowing up, where I realized that, oh, this would be really fun as an ensemble number later, played it, and that from the live is what we saw. So, like, part of it was peeling back the curtain to, like, see the creative process. Yeah. And that's sort of what I think the content that does well on the platform anyways yeah. is really I'll, exciting. I mean, it's, yeah, it seems like the bread and butter. Yeah. What was great about doing this on TikTok? Like, what, what about this format <laughs> lent itself to... Greatness. <laughs> for me, it just feels like home. TikTok has been my my new home for two years. I've been on it for two years. So, I mean, if I was an audience member, I'd be so excited because I wouldn't have to fly to New York to go see it. I could just... Yeah. Um, Roman tweeted something really funny today where you could watch it from your toilet. Um, <laughs> right. Nice. Which I hope people Great. did. Honestly, yeah. Honestly. No, yeah. No, truly. <laughs> I mean, that's the greatest thing. Like, I think, you know... When I did Dear Evan Hansen and you're sending out the text like, hey, you're like, Grandma, can you come see me in the show? Right, you realize right. how crazy it is that you're doing this incredibly beautiful thing in one city, in one state, in the entire world. Yeah. And so the fact that it's accessible and it's free really just makes my heart so happy because, first of all, Grandma can watch, <laughs> but also everyone can experience it with us. And well, it's I, huge. Oh, oh sorry. I, and no. I think part of that is, you know, musical theater is inherently a very intimate art form. Yeah. Like, it's, it's about being in the room together. It's very yeah. human. But in the times we live in, so is our phone. Like, it's a very human thing. We put so much of ourselves into, like, a little piece of glass and metal, you know? <laughs> so trying to take those two very human things and combine them was really interesting. Yeah. And a challenge, of course, but, uh, but it was so, so, so exciting to try. How did you get clips from other shows? Uh, luckily, uh, you know, TikTok has um, a really great way of uh, being connected to all of those shows. And then we also have some really amazing uh, people from our directing team and all of that who, who know all of them. People want to know if there's a playbill for this show. Oh, wouldn't that be oh, cool? You know what? Maybe. 
That would be let's very make one. good. Right. Let's make do one. it. Play yeah. 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 There's an article. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, you did you say you've only been on TikTok for two years? I've been on TikTok, yeah, two years. That's wild. It's crazy. That shows. I mean, it's the land of possibility. Truly. right? Truly. Yeah. I mean, I was just a freshman in college. Just you know, I, I go to music school, so I was just a freshman in music school. Just what music school do you go to? I go to Berkeley <laughs> College. Oh, of music. Okay. Oh. We see you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I mean, just from posting videos, because I was bored during the pandemic and felt like showing my art to, like, maybe 15, 20 people. <laughs> and now I'm here with you amazing people with Andy Cohen. Oh, I know, Andy Cohen. <laughs> with Come Andy. On. Um, so, I mean, yeah, TikTok literally changed my life. It's crazy. For the younger actors that are watching this at home, for my niece, Abby, that's watching in St. Louis, Hi. what advice do you give to them who, who want to be in this business? Um... I always say, like, the love has to be the thing that sustains you. I think the thing that, like, this business has so many highs and lows, as, as I'm sure you know, too. <laughs> um, and so, like, one day you can feel on top of the world, and the other day you can be questioning everything. But if the love remains overall, you'll find a way to make it work. And I, I chase it with all that you have if you really do totally. love it for everything that it's done for you and other people. And mm -hmm. also, like, to young uh brown kids or young kids of color that are watching this just know that it is possible to have a show where there are multiple leads that are of color yeah. and there is absolutely yes. nothing yes. nothing that should stop you from doing what you want to do i'm literally looking right down the barrel right now I'm yes. like, I'm talking to you. <laughs> make that video but Come truly on. i mean this hopefully was just a good example of your skin color will never stop you from doing what you want to do and it, it never should Come on. absolutely yeah. what was your inspiration for writing this you know, it, there's there's so many things. I mean, we've talked about like For You page and, and where that came from. But again, I think it goes back to the accessibility and that's what makes TikTok so special is is it doesn't matter how many followers you have. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the first video that I had that got over 100,000 views, I think I had like four followers, but people thought it was funny. That's and so it, impressive. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, it was a lot. Um, but, y you know, it, it's if, if people like your content, like it, it can get views. Mm. And, and I think like it, showing that and saying um, we s not only see you, but we love you. And mm. especially from TikTok to say not only do we acknowledge this community, yeah. but we are embracing it yeah. is, is really exciting. Is. What was the toughest song to write? Ooh, that is a, that's a good <laughs> that sound. That was everything in that one sound. <laughs> I know. Um, you know, I, I think it would be, um, I, I think it would be his I Want song, uh, which is playing in my key, which. That song is so hard. But you're so right. good. I know, that but you song. nailed it. It's so good. Thank you so much. You nailed the breathing it. and the words. Like, I thought <laughs> waving through a window was hard. That song <laughs> is so hard. So thank um, you. So uh, I would say I would say playing in my key, which I wrote with Kate Leonard, who did lyrics, and it was um, I love writing. I want songs. It's always like my favorite one to write. But it's also like Landon. Landon specifically. What do you mean you love writing? On. I want songs. So I want songs are very classic in in musical theater, old, like old even old like movies and things. And it's like where the main character says like what they want at the beginning, and then by the end, hopefully they get it. So like uh, you know, perfect example is Part of Your World, where she says, "I want to be where the people are. I want to be where they're right, right." And then at the end, she's where she's the people where are. The people. Yeah. Um, somewhere over the rainbow, she like says that at the beginning. She goes over the rainbow, and mm. once you see it, like, and once you hear it, you're like, "Oh, this is in every show they have an I want song." Um, and I love writing those because it's like when you really get to learn what the character is and who that person is. But specifically, Landon is very like his his musical theater writing stuff is very like close to my heart. So being able to write that song. Um, was really special because it hits so close to home, especially the pre-chorus, which is the um, symphony uh, soaring and all of that. Yeah. Was, it's was orchestrated special. so beautifully. So uh, I'm Shout curious for both of you, what are your fa what was your favorite number in the show? Oh my gosh, a million people <laughs> is like a fever dream. And it's funny because <laughs> we spent so long, because the process was so quick, we spent so long with just the piano. So I remember like hearing it for the first time and being like, this is insanity. And like the dancing, like, you know what I'm saying? And it really, it captures that feeling of going viral, which is, I don't think that's an easy thing to do oh, in, in a musical, but it's specifically like in just one song. And so, so much energy, yeah, so, so much, energy. much energy. What, uh, what about you? 
I think the first number, Standing By, just sets the tone for how like fun and upbeat, except for one song, um, <laughs> is. We get one ballad. We and get one ballad. Honestly, that ballad's pretty good, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> but uh, no, it's I love Standing By. Um, literally yesterday, we added a riff to it, which was super exciting. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> wow. So you were going, you were adding until tonight. Until, until five minutes five before, minutes the, show. before yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was crazy. That's amazing. And are you in anything right now? Uh, anything else right now? This has been the focus. Um, okay, because I, mean, I was going to say that would be some insane multitasking. There are ensemble members yeah. who, who are, are on yeah. Broadway yeah. shows and, and doing this, this right. at the same time. JJ was getting a lot of love uh, <laughs> um, in the chat. We yeah. love you. Yeah. Yes. JJ. Yes. yes. Superman. Um, talk to me about the costumes. Who who came up with the costumes? I mean, we have an incredible team of designers who who did the costumes, the props, and like the the Utopia cover on the book is my favorite. Because we like, I, I came up with the idea of utopia and like seeing that for real. But um, I mean, they killed it, and specifically those utopia like visors with the I giant know. cape. Well, and by all the way, the comments for that <laughs> section <laughs> what, was like full Hunger Games. Yes. They were like, "Oh my God, it's Hunger Games on stage!" <laughs> what I really, which want, I love, I, I love the visors. <laughs> I really want to know the people who like did only tuned in like in the middle of that, and they were like. What yeah, is what going am I on? Witnessing right now? What is this show about? <laughs> I want to bring out the ensemble. Oh my Come god! Come on out, guys! Please? Yes, absolutely. Is anyone there? Yeah. 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 Yes. Hell yes. Yeah. Come on, ensemble! Oh my god! How do you guys feel? How do you feel? Good. Um, ecstatic. <laughs> you did it. I mean, that was what was the hardest part of doing it. Uh, the hardest part, we had, I think, 10 days of rehearsal. And as you just heard, we were changing things up till today. So it was just like keeping it all here. Yeah. What was your favorite number? Oh, man. I have to say million people. I think just because Ensemble has like the epic like dance break in there. So it's like for sure my favorite. So are you guys all besties for life now? Oh. Yes. yes. I love these people so much. Any hookups? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know, what I can I say? I mean, you know. <laughs> This is what I do, you know. What can I tell you? I'm sorry. It's cool. It's cool. Excuse me. Um, bring in a little fun oh to TikTok. I'm so impressed, you guys. That was so incredible. And I mean, we're in this little black box theater. The energy you brought to TikTok and to us all was incredible. Your voices, the new original music. I really do hope that we get. I mean, honestly, we need. We need to be able to get this album. Talk uh, to us. I would, I would love to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get that. Uh, oh, come guys, on, Plain and Mikey. Thank you so music. much. Play us out, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks thank for you. joining us on TikTok. This has been incredible. Give yourselves a round of applause, yeah. by the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Andy Cohen. That was so fun, truly. It's a symphony score and the voices all... Thank you, Rob. Oh, my God, I'm obsessed with all of you. Oh. <laughs>